27 has ended. And two things are certain. There is a climate crisis and the people most affected want action now. What do we want? Several OECS government ministers made pleas before the international community for climate action and for loss and damage to small island developing states. There is no action without addressing climate justice, which embraces climate finance, a perennial challenge of seats. And we need to move expeditiously to close the emissions gap, the ambition gap, and most significantly, the implementation gap. The OECS Director General gave a very candid speech on the global climate crisis. The fundamental issue surrounding the issue of financing, I want to submit, is political. $100 billion per year not to be met until whenever. Contrast that with the speed and the urgency for the engine of war in Ukraine. 30 billion US dollars in the country, less than two weeks mobilized for war when we talk in survivability of these countries, not just since, but international, global survivability. We are the only species in the world that is driving ourselves to extinction, while we've driven other species to extinction. The OECS delegation participated in several panel discussions and side events. We can't keep talking climate finance, we need to walk the walk, we just talk the talk including the Pirat Ready Together side event. Over the years, the OECS Commission has worked very closely with, your, in, in, the with, with Interreg in terms of the delivery of projects in, in these islands. Head of the OECS Environmental Sustainability Division, Mr. Chamberlain Emmanuel, participated in a panel discussion virtually hosted by the World Bank. What does the blue economy mean to you, to your economy, and to your discussions around climate change? So this blue economy really envelops our entire way of life as an island. The evidence is, is, is there that we are speeding towards the 1.5 threshold. And so adaptation is critical because, again, the science shows that even if we were to remain within 1.5, the effects of 1.5 are still devastating to small island states. During the event, the Director General affirmed partnerships with several international partners. The OECS will continue to actively do its part to deal with the global climate crisis. We are not coming to this table, let's be clear, colleagues, with a begging bowl, but with concrete and tangible solutions and proposals that are designed to change the structural relations. Today, Mr. President, St. Lucia and the rest of the Caribbean call on world leaders, fellow delegates and stakeholders to truly make this COP27 the implementation COP it is touted to be. Until concrete changes are made, the mantra which began at COP15 will continue. 1.5 to save!